All right, getting into game number one. We're playing against Tristan and Diaz. That's a, it's a tough lobby, but definitely over, overcomable. Is that a word? That does not sound like a word. Um, what MMR are you? I think like 1860. All right. Wait, actually I can check. 1855. That's close enough. I'm not gonna correct myself. Uh, I think Chief Eve's probably streaming right now. But he probably just asked me what MMR I am, because this is like a... This is a crazy lobby. I went for the double reset, couldn't quite get it, that's fine though. I'll just get back, grab some pads here. Uh, looks like Tristan was going for the double. I'm just gonna air dribble this. Take a 50. Went for a pinch, but couldn't quite get it. So I'll just demo Diaz to help out Chief Beef. He's gonna be able to get a much cleaner touch there. Uh, I shouldn't have jumped for that. Tristan had me beat there by a mile. Because he's on the backboard, and he doesn't actually have to, like... Uh, he doesn't have to, like, jump up and read the ball. He's on the backboard, so he doesn't have to, like, gain any height. He just has to move, like, outwards. And because of that, uh... Oh, did I miss the open net? Chibi, please go mid for me. Please go mid. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, because he's, like, already has the height, he's just gonna beat me. 10 times out of 10. Alright, well, they went for a demo, but that's not gonna work if uh, the guy who's following it up doesn't actually hit the shot. I'll fake that, and then I'll let him go. Nice shot. Bro, the open nets, they haunt me. <laughs> oh, man. That's tough. That's tough. I've dropped 100 plus MMR here, so we are gonna farm. W, bro. Let's go. Let's go, Chief Beef. I'm feeling really good today, too. Um, if you guys watched my last 2v2 video, I'm recording it on the same day as that. Uh, and I'm just I'm just feeling hella mechanical. Um, oh, no, dude. I'm, if I scored that, man, oh my god. No, that would have been crazy. All right, I'll wait on this. All right, Chief Beef can get that. It's going to be a bit... Difficult probably gonna be cool. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Just the touch went a little bit too far away from him um, And also he could have just left it uh, if he leaves it or he hits it in the corner there We're probably fine, but because he uh, accidentally hit it like sort of back towards Tristan he was just able to get a free touch. He had space, you know, he had time. So I'll get behind Chief Beef here. Hopefully he can challenge Got the touch hit it around Oh, no, dude. Don't tell me I missed another one. Oh, my God. Okay, I gotta take this full boost and then let uh, Chief Beef some time to recover. Should be a free ball for him. I'm gonna take this corner as well so that Tristan can't get it because I saw him cheating up that way. Wait on this. Okay, he can beat me, but Tristan's not gonna be able to follow that, so... I'll go back because I saw Chief Beef going for boost. If Chief... Er, going for the ball, I mean... If Chief Beef didn't go for the ball there, I could have also gone for it, which is kind of why I was hovering under it. But I guess he decided that he had a better uh, chance. Oh, that's my bad. I wanted to stay on that for him to help him out. Uh, they might have missed. No. Uh, dude, my bad. I wanted to help him out there by just taking a 50. Um, but I guess he thought I didn't have enough boost to actually recover. So that's tough. That's no big deal, though. Gonna wait on Diaz. Try to dust him. Not quite a dust, but you guys know what I mean. I mean, I just got a good challenge. Uh, I was feeling good, you know. Stalled the ball out for a little bit. Let Chief Beef take it. All right. I'm gonna fake that. Uh, I got nothing. All right, Chief Beef can take. I'm gonna let. It. I'm just gonna bang it. I don't. I don't have any boost here. DS is probably gonna have a touch, so I'll just play a, a little bit back. Um, not too far, but just enough that, like, no matter where he touches it... Oh, Chief Beef, what are we doing? I'm gonna fake the pinch. Hit it high. Diaz is up, but he's not gonna be able to get it. I'll wait for Chief Beef. Nice. Okay, that's a good touch. Diaz alone here, so I'm just gonna try to play his touch. And try to control this. Hit it around two. Shot? Bang. Easy. That's all it is. That's, I mean, you just you just hit the ball around them. It goes in the net. That's all it is. It's a very simple game. 
If you hit the ball around your opponents and into their net more than they can hit the ball around you and into your net, you win the game. It's it's, it's very simple. Uh, that's not in, is it? I'm trolling. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm going to get back in net here and just watch the shot. Okay, he's got it. Yep, that's fine. I was kind of conserving boost there. Um, I'll let him take that because I got pads. All right, that's gonna go under me, that's fine. I'll play this. Let's take a 50. This boost should spawn. All right, hit it up. Chief Eve can get a touch, and he follows it as well. That's super important that he follows it there, because if he just gets the touch out and he stops boosting and he doesn't like uh, flip cancel in order to stay on the ball, then what happens is that the ball just goes out, Tristan gets a, a, bu a bunch of space to take a shot, and he just takes the shot. However, because he followed it, Tristan's forced to just take a 50 with Chief Beef or just let Chief Beef stay on the ball. Both of which aren't really great options, although the 50 is the better out of the two. Um, but either way, they're still not getting a free shot or anything, so. Right, I'll get back uh, on the backboard. I'll just play the high. Chief Beef should know to force that high, and he does. GG. All right, we'll get right into game number two. See you all then. All right, getting into game number two, we got Cheesy and Neskoff. Are they queued together? They're not. Okay. So this is going to be points. It's going to be a lot of lost points if we lose because they're uh, quite a bit lower than us on average. So uh, I should be able to go here. Saw that Cheesy wasn't going. Uh, I think Cheesy is on TikTok. I see some of his stuff on my page. He has a pretty recognizable profile picture. Uh, not the best start from him, but that's all right for uh, it's all right for me. You know, that's good for business. Uh, I'll, I'll, I don't care if he misses, you know? Nice. Alright. I'm gonna call for the need boost, then cheat towards the right side. Works every time. Get the demo on one. No, what a save, dude. What a save. That's going on the TikTok. Oh, man. Alright. Hit that over him. Just gonna try to shoot that far post. See if I could have caught him off guard. All right, Neskov's looking to beat me here. Try to just bump him. Couldn't quite get it, but Chief's gonna have to save. Nice. That's good positioning from him to just go into the net. Uh, it makes it so that it's a lot harder for the opponents to demo the, him. And uh, like, if they do, they're in our net. You know what I mean? So, one, if if they get the demo on him, um, then they're they're like in our net. So the, oh, dude, I'm sorry. Um, if they get the demo on him, they're, like, in our net. I, I did not expect him to, like, turn on that, which is why I got so close. I thought he was going to get the demo and then get out. Um, but yeah, if they get the demo, then they're in our net, so it's going to be hard to recover out of there. And then if they don't get the demo, then, and they miss, then they're in our net and they miss. So they're super, like, overcommitted. I save. I save. Is that going to be in? Come on. Nice, dude. That's actually nuts play. That is crazy. That's so powerful, too. Alright, I'm gonna be on the... Actually, I'm just gonna cheat up here. I wasn't gonna say I'll go to the back right, but... Enough of the fancy kickoffs, you know? Let's get back to... Back to the basics. Get one touch out. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Mechanics. If I get the flip reset there, I think I actually, like, don't score. Um, but I think I probably could have just gotten the flip reset and faked it. That would have worked. Because everybody... I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this in any of my previous videos, but... I think I was talking to Nolly and he said this, and then I kind of realized it after. Is that if somebody gets the flip reset, they're going to use it. Like, almost everybody doesn't have the discipline to not use a flip reset. You know what I mean? Like, it's... <laughs> And that sounds like weird, right? Because you would think like, oh man, well, why would they not want to use it? But there are some situations where genuinely it is worse if you use the flip reset and you hit the ball compared to if you just uh, fake it, right? But because people are so obsessed with like mechanics and looking flashy and stuff like that, a lot of people, if they get the flip reset, they'll go for like the miracle play or whatever. They'll go for the crazy musty flick rather than just like leaving it. Or if you get the flip reset and then fake, it is so, so deadly. I can't get that. That's such a good shot, dude. Oh, so powerful and out of nowhere, too. 
I did not expect that to come like back to my net, but I should have been covering the net better. Uh, I was kind of cheating towards the sidewall because that's where I thought the ball was going to go, when I should have just been covering the net. That's going to be in, but I'll just secure it anyways, just so I can pat my... Uh, pad my stats. That's the word I was looking for. Alright, let's go. Two and a half minutes left. In a good spot, but don't want to get complacent. Now we're in a really good spot. Yeah. I, I've been cheating uh, a lot closer recently. I think my reaction times have just gotten a little bit better. Um, I also had Starbucks today, so maybe it's the caffeine. I also tr trust Chief Beef's kickoff a lot. Like, his kickoff is normally in the exact same spot every single time. Uh, it's just like a slight pop-up that kind of goes towards me, or it just kills entirely. Uh, so, I mean, that, that also helps with knowing how far up to cheat. Because if I know that the ball is just going to stall almost every time, then why would I not cheat close, you know? Alright, just kind of held my nerve there. I knew that he wasn't going to get some sort of crazy flick or anything. I knew he could get a shot, so I was still looking out for that, but... Um, I knew that he wasn't going to have anything crazy. So, he's going to go up on that. I'll just kind of sit back a little bit. Just play behind him. See if I can just make him jump, you know. Just have a little bit of fun with him. He's got a flip reset. Doesn't have a lot of boost, though. Oh, dude, I wanted to get that corner from him. I get that corner from him, then this attack literally does not exist. My bad. I should have... I should have force that for him I should have forced that for him for sure that's just a good touch I mean he just gets one touch and then he just gets all four wheels in the ball flips it in pretty standard shot there I mean as once you get into these ranks I mean you guys know like obviously obviously diamonds and champs it's not gonna be a standard shot for them plats maybe but you know like all this stuff after 6,000 hours like just getting a normal flip reset like a one touch it kind of sucks too because you know i used to watch like rlfx montages and stuff of people getting single resets and i was like whoa that's insane and now i get that on like a daily basis and i'm just like eh, whatever <laughs> you know it sucks man like the the better you become at something the less you enjoy i forget what um what it was i don't know somebody like said something but basically it's like the better you become at something the more you start to realize small, tiny imperfections and flaws, uh, and the less you start to appreciate, like, the bigger picture. So, like, yeah, you'll be... Because you have to. Like, if you want to really, really get disgustingly good at this game, you have to be uh, very critical of yourself. You can't just, like, oh my god, my teammates sucked that game. You know, you have to be really, really critical of yourself, and you gotta notice all the small details of your game that uh, are gonna lead you to you know, improving. So, you know, in, in a sense, when you when you get really, really good at the game, if you still get excited about, like, a single flip reset, well, then why would you ever get excited about... Or why would you ever, like, attempt a double or something? Just, I don't know. I think just standards change after a while, you know? Once you do something a hundred times, it doesn't become as special. Um, you know? So, anyways, GG. We'll go right into game number three. See you all then. Uh, I'm gonna take this full boost. Wait for Chief Beef. Fake this. Try to take it down. Cut it up. Oh, I could have uh, shot that with a little bit more power. How did I spin out? I don't, dude. I don't know how I spun out there. That was bad for me. I should have had a recover. I, I genuinely don't know how I spun out there, but whatever. It's fine. Fine. It's four minutes, 44 seconds left. Plus, we should have had a goal. Uh... Alright, well, I got it over him, but unfortunately, I got demoed. Chief Eve might actually be able to score that. I don't know, depending on how he's feeling. How mechy he's feeling. I'll bump him. Chief Eve can hit it up to me. Bang. <laughs> yeah, great pass. Great pass. Let's go. That was clean. I, I don't even know how fast that was. Pr pretty fast. Probably like 110, 120 maybe? Definitely not 120. 110. Uh, but yeah. That was nice. It was a good pass for Chief Beef. Good awareness. I'll play behind him here though. I can't really go for that. I can play this though. Fake. Nice. Alright. He's going to beat me. So I'll just wait. 
He's gonna beat me. Hit on that. He's gonna beat, dude. I, I keep on saying he's gonna beat me. Like, there's there's not really much else to say there. Um, I mean, I go for the ball. I force him to make a touch, but past that, I mean, he's he's gonna beat me. So I might as well just fall back, basically. I'm just gonna let that. Again, he's beating me. Why why would I dive in for the ball if I know that he's gonna beat me to it? Um, it's pointless because because then they have all the power basically. Like if they yeah if they don't react to you pre jumping their their touch or whatever, then uh, yeah you might be able to like pull off a a dunk and then you might be in a good position. But you know if they have any eyeballs at all and they have any like composure at all. They probably won't allow you to just pre-jump them. They'll probably just change what they're going to do and either fake it or touch it a slightly different way. All right, I'm just going to play the ball here. Chief Eve can bang that if he wants. Might be in. No, it's not. That's unlucky. He said no problem. What? <laughs> He's probably tilted at himself. All right, he's going to go up for that. Oh, he got the touch. I was gonna look to, to shoot that if he if he didn't. Dude, these guys love bumping. Oh my god. These guys are getting physical. What a 50? Can't get it. Uh should be free ball for Chief Beef though. Oh, that is that is close. Right, I'll just take that across. Flip over? Trying to demo yell. Can't get him. Oh, dude. I, I didn't get a good flip either. I tried to like... Yeah, he, he can't get that. Uh, I knew he couldn't get the double, so I didn't even jump for it. Holy, dude. That was so bad. I was going for a flip reset there, but... Dude, like, all they do is go for bumps and demos. That's actually such a crazy strat, bro. It's like, dude just absolutely ignores the fact that he's leaving his teammate in a 1v2 situation. He's just like, yeah, I'm going to go for the bump there. Because if he doesn't get the bump there, he's fully overcommitted. And then it's a 2v1 uh, with me and Chief Beef. So it's like, it's such a risky play to go for if he doesn't get the bump. But, I mean, he's very good at getting them, you know? So it, it works out. Good air dribble from Chief Beef. Just forced an awkward save out of the opponent. And I'm able to get a touch. Nice. Good uh, kickoff. A good cheat there and kickoff. Great pass, great pass. That goal was basically all him. All I had to do was not mess up the open net, so. Alright. Oh, I need to take this. Um I save? Oh dude, my bad. My bad. I should have been ready for the follow-up. The problem is that you don't want to like. You don't want to be right in front of them because then you risk just own goaling. So I tried to just get behind him, but all good. And take this boost. I'm just gonna hit the ball out a bit. Um, Yell can beat, but Chief Beef's gonna have full boost now and possession, so he can just kind of decide what he wants to do with the ball there. He wanted to just put it back in, take a shot. Hit it over one. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna get back here. Um, actually, I'll, I'll turn up because because I saw him leave the mid boost. I can kind of just safely assume that he has enough boost for for whatever he wants to do. Uh, and because of that, it's better for me to take the mid boost because one, it deprives them of the mid boost, and two, um, you know, I'm just closer to the play. So rather than going back for full boost, you know, I I would rather be in closer to the play in case Chief Beef makes something happen. He's probably going to have that. Oh, this is super awkward. No way. What a play, dude. What a shot. What a read from him, too. I don't know. I thought that was, like, straight down. That's honestly the hardest read in the game. Oh, no. I don't think he can get around that. No, he can't. Chief Beef should be able to get that. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one play. Uh-oh. I have no boost. Oh. No. I'm just going to clear that up. I mean, I doubt they're going to keep it up, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to watch for the Spanish here. So I'm basically just staring at Red Snow's car to see 
if he's like soft or like fake cheating you know what i mean um because if if he's like not cheating up that far then i know that they're going to be going for a spanish because the guy in the back needs to be able to react for the spanish so he can't cheat up as close as uh he normally would just gonna shoot that under him nice he had to cover the whole net so all right there we go that should be ssl uh if i'm correct Maybe, if the game ever ends. Alright, GG. Uh, let's wait in here. No. Oh my god, SSL! Yay! Woo! GG's.